Hi, I'm Clara and today I'm gonna explain and show to you some of the chemistry we can find nowadays in nature, starting with cow's milk. This product is mainly composed out of water and also contains fat, proteins, lactose and minerals. Milk contains hundreds of types of proteins, but the castings are the ones to give the milk its white color. On the other hand, cows are one of the main responsible of releasing greenhouse emissions in the ambit of agriculture. They expel methane, one of the greenhouse gas, from their farts, but mainly from their barbs. Methane is particularly problematic, as its impact is 21 times greater than CO2. Combustion is also a chemical reaction. Burning trash is a common practice on many farms. Sometimes it is burned in burn barrels. Silage is a method of forage conservation, where anaerobic fermentation occurs. These plastics are form of polyethylene. Cow manure is mainly used as a fertilizer. It is composed out of nitrogen, calcium, phosphorus, and potassium. Photosynthesis is a process used by plants and other organisms to convert light energy into chemical energy. These are the responsibles for producing honey, where we can also find chemistry. The nectar bees harvest and store in their honey stomachs is mixed with enzymes which break down the large sugars such as sucrose into smaller sugars such as glucose and fructose. Salt is the most important mineral required by horses. They need salt blocks because the salt content in grasses and hay is too low for the need of a horse. Common salt, a combination of sodium and chloride, is essential for countless critical functions in the body. Look, I found a snail! A chemical analysis revealed that snail mustn contained various different substances, including collagen, elastin, glycolin acid, and natural antibacteria. Here there's chemistry! 